Um, I'm Nicole Strada. I'm head of marketing at Voxer. It's great to be here today. Um, how many of you have used Voxer? Yeah, good handful. Okay, fairly representative. Um, Voxer uh, is, of course, a uh, has been a free consumer app. It's been around for about two years. Um, we had massive trajectory. Uh, launched on iOS and then launched on Android. When, when we launched on Android, we just saw a huge influx of users come to us. We've had tens of millions of downloads. We've had uh, billions of messages sent. And really what Voxer is all about is simple. And it's kind of best to show you really what Voxer is all about. Um, whenever anyone asks me, I'd like to give them the quick uh, magic trick. Um, I pick a chat to someone, I open it up, I hold, I talk, and hopefully as I'm talking, my voice is coming out of someone else's phone. Now, of course, latency in this room would probably be pretty good, <laughs> but, uh, but really we've, we've taken the walkie-talkie and translated it into a smartphone app. Um, and we, uh, we are now um, available on iPhone, Android, Windows Phone 8. And the whole premise of Voxer was built out of our, our founder's mission to improve push-to-talk communication. Uh, he was a special forces officer. Uh, and uh, it actually worked in communications. And he would carry four of these around during fire, firefights to monitor multiple co conversations from different arenas. Now you can imagine trying to monitor four walkie-talkies, not an easy proposition. Um, so when he came back from Afghanistan, he decided there had to be a better way. Uh, teenagers can manage multiple conversations on IM. Why not collapse this all into one application? He built the application, and then, of course, the iPhone came out, and it was time to, uh, to test it, and clearly it, it worked. Um, so what's great about Voxer is you can communicate to one person, you can communicate to people in groups, you can share photos, uh, text and location, and that's co-mingled with the voice application. It works on any data network, 2G, 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi. It works uh, across carriers, and it works internationally. So we have up to 200 people, or 200 countries across the globe have used, used Voxer. And so we felt there was a huge opportunity for us, not just in the consumer space, but in the business space. Um, think about how many businesses have mission-critical communications that they're dealing with on a daily basis. Um, and the challenges with traditional push-to-talk communication, walkie-talkies, cell cellular-based push-to-talk is, you know, a response is immediate or not at all with those live-only communications. If someone's busy, if they're not listening, if they're talking to someone else, then communication is lost. Um, and also, traditional PTT is interruptive and predicated on availability. Um, so that's why traditional cellular-based push-to-talk has really only penetrated 10% of the cellular market and has kind of constantly been in decline. Um, and it also requires users to monitor multiple channels, which is the problem our founder had. Um, so really, um, Voxer Business, which is our paid-for application, uh, came to fruition when we had many companies uh, approach us and say, hey, we love your free app. Can you do something for my company? Um, and really, that was about creating means of uh, letting them have control and ownership and creating identity uh, for their data. Um, so what we built were two things. Uh, Voxer Business Manager, which allows you to upload large numbers of users, or small numbers, depending on how big you are, uh, and create employee accounts that can be either with um, a, an email or a pa uh, you can create a username. And then also create user distribution lists, like email. Um, so we could you know, segment by that. See employee messages on a real-time map, so you can use location. Every, every message is tagged with location, so great for monitoring field workers. And then we also have Voxer for Web, which is our desktop-based version. Uh, you can send and receive multiple messages on a browser. Uh, you can view multiple conversation threads at once, great for dispatchers. And you can sync all of your messages across all devices. So a message, regardless of where you are, at your desk or in the field, is always saved. And then there are a few other key features, uh, the team chats, which are also, you can see, uh, we, can, we can create that instantaneously. Um, you can also create it in-app, uh, on the fly. Live interrupt mode, which really does 
turn your phone into a walkie-talkie, the screen goes dead and you can still have a conversation. The voice will just stream live out of your phone. Uh, and extreme notifications, which are just loud repetitive alerts. And then finally, single sign-on, which is uh, great for large companies who have big employee directories and don't want to have to manually upload all their users. So that's really the key features of Voxer Business. Um, we just launched. It's new. <laughs> so our results are um, pretty good, considering we have about eight Fortune uh, 100 companies in proof of concept currently. And it's a very large uh, government contracts, which if I told you about, I'd probably have to kill you. But um, that's, uh, that's us. Any questions? an ideal customer for yourself, uh, what, do, what are they using today? Before they, you know, the kind of customer that you think is just right to move to your application, what are they doing today pre Um Well, many of them are using cellular-based push-to-talk solutions. Uh, Nextel, Verizon, AT&T all have solutions. The challenge is that uh, with those solutions is they kind of, uh, they kind of bet against the internet. Um, so they are um, proprietary. You can only use phones on that network. Um, they are um, limited to certain devices, so they don't work on all smartphone operating systems. And they don't necessarily use data, um, which makes it difficult to communicate internationally. Um, so for instance, we have an airline that um, came to us and said, we really like your service because we're struggling with AT&T in one airport and we need to look at other solutions. Um, so for, us, for them, it's, it's an easy win. They can have push to talk across all their devices and not have to worry about which carrier that people are on in those, in those locations. And we've seen that kind of repeat itself time and time again. Um, so really, we feel like um, against the push to talk carriers, we tend to win because of the flexibility of the product. Any other questions? Okay, so how, how do you distinguish who is being communicated to through the messages? Um, we don't have availability, but what we do have, um, and we just launched, is read receipts. So we can see you can see if a message has been consumed or not. Um, but um, uh, typically, we've seen response time because of the notifications and because it's on a smartphone to be relatively fast. I mean, its average response time is about 8 to 10 seconds to, to any message. And I guess the great thing about Voxer is if, if they're not available, the message will still be there. Um, so it's always saved in terms of communication. Um, but no, we, we, we haven't really gone down the I'm available route yet. Any other questions, judges? All right. Cool. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you.